the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will then sit upon his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered in his presence, and he will separate the people as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep at his right hand and the goats at his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you invited me into your home. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you cared for me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we see, ever see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you something to drink? Or a stranger and show you hospitality? Or naked and give you clothing? When did we ever see you in sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will say, I tell you the truth. When you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Then the king will turn to those on the left and say, Away with you, you cursed ones, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his demons. For I was hungry and you did not feed me. And I was thirsty, and you did not give me a drink. And I was a stranger, and you did not invite me into your home. I was naked, and you did not give me clothing. I was sick and in prison, and you didn't come and visit me. Then they will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and not help you? And he will answer, I tell you the truth. When you refused to help the least of these my brothers and sisters, you were refusing to help me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous will go into eternal life. My brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. once again to address you this morning on this occasion of the Feast of Christ the King, the last Sunday of the year before we begin a new season of Advent. Christ the King calls us to remember and recall that Christ is the ruler of our hearts. And so the question always before us on this day is, who rules in your heart? Is it Christ the rightful king or is it some other interest or some other person that you have put in that place? So our calling and our question is, uh, who are we to serve? Who is our rightful king? Who should be ruling within our hearts? In the ancient land of Israel, there were three institutions in that society. The royal family is personified by the king and in this case the symbol was king david and then there is the high priest who ran the temple and the symbol of the high priest is personified in the person of aaron the high priest 
And then there are the school of the prophets. And the school of the prophets are, uh, <clears throat> the school of the prophets are the, uh, personified by Elijah the prophet. So you have these three persons, Elijah, Aaron, and David, who are remembered and who are associated with these three institutions, the prophet, the priest, and the king, or the king, the priest, and the prophet. These are the three aspects of institutional life in ancient Israel. Now, it came to be believed that the Messiah would embody all three of these aspects of institutional life, that the Messiah would somehow would be a king, a kind of king, and the Messiah would also be the high priest who would offer sacrifice for the sins of the people. And then that the high priest is also the prophet, and Jesus is a prophet who speaks the word of God. Now, whenever you enter into the sacred space of a church or a cathedral, when you visit a Catholic church, there are three essential furnishings in the church. There is the altar, there is the ambo, of which I am standing, and there is the cathedral, the chair, in which the presiding minister sits. All three of these are symbols of the threefold office of Messiah. So that we have in the altar, Christ, who is the high priest. In the ambo, it's Christ the prophet, as the word of prophecy goes forth from the ambo, the word of God. And then finally, there is the, uh, the uh, king, is symbolized by the cathedral or the chair, in which the rightful king rules in the church and rules within our hearts. So this is what it means when we say Christ is King. We say he's Messiah, and Messiah is a mission that is fulfilled in three ways, by way of a kingdom, by way of the priesthood, and by way of the prophets. So Jesus fulfills all three of these, and he becomes our high priest. He becomes our prophet, but more than that, he becomes our king and ought to rule within our hearts. And that, my brothers and sisters, is the gospel of the Lord.